Is there some people coming in here? Is it? I think so. Ooh. We got people coming out already? Yeah. What's up, Miss Lucy? Uh, what do you got going on here? What do we got? We got some people coming in here. I'm trying to see where all the uh I'm gonna tell this guy to go to the Tennessee Rat Fish. Or if or if, if you can go to Facebook mm -hmm. and then go to the page and then see see who's saying what. Oh here we go. Hey, is everybody can you hear me and can you see us okay? Alright. Alright, I got a few people. There, right. You got me and Greg, Chili, with R and R Live. We just wanted to come at you this afternoon, tell you a little bit about what's going on this weekend. Um, we've got an event. Me and Brandon TWC. Uh, we're going to be in Springfield, Tennessee, at the historic museum downtown on the square. Uh, I think you should be there because we're going to get our spooky on, and I think you should get your spooky on with us. That's right. That's right. So, Greg, tell us a little bit about this event, my brother. Well, like he said, June the 15th, 7 o'clock at the square. This building was built in 1913, opened up for business 1916 as a post office because they had so much money in this town from whiskey and tobacco. So, there's no telling what we're gonna come across. They had hey, a, Shasta. They had a catwalk that walked across the top of this thing with a guard 24 seven because there was so much money in this post office from people sending money to purchase whiskey, tobacco, because Robertson County was known as the finest tobacco in the world back in the day. And it's very active. If you've been seeing my page, we caught an EVP uh, with the lady's name come across that works there, Stacy. Uh, amazing lady and we'd like to give a shout out to her because without her this wouldn't be happening yep this is for sure because the thing about it we're going in here to help bring some money to this museum keep this place going because i mean these museums are dying breed anymore and what are you going to do when you start losing history so let's try to keep this place open and come on there's just a few tickets left well very few tickets that's left. right so if you want to join us saturday night it's 65 bucks, 65 bucks, and you get free barbecue. That's right, and we're keeping it small, so when we do this investigation, it's more intimate, it's not a bunch of distraction, very small groups, so it'll almost be like you're investigating this place by yourself, and keep in mind, you're gonna be the first. And then we also have this chair that you've been seeing. We'll call it the green chair. We're, it's in the basement. We're gonna see who go, wants to go it alone, and we'll pick one lucky guest, and Doogie come up with something about a mask. Maybe we'll blindfold you. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, Saturday night, we're gonna have one special person to go do a solo session in this green chair. And this is downstairs in this place. And I'm telling you, it's creepy as hell. And if you wanna be that person, we're gonna do a little drawing and see who wants to sit in this chair and do a solo session. And today it hit me as I was working out today <laughs> that what better than do a solo session with a blindfold while you're tied to the no i'm not gonna tie you to the chair but you can sit in the chair with a blindfold and we're going to see what happens that way you can use your senses you don't have to always have meters this is a chance for you to gut check and be here with us on saturday night and do your gut check and we'll be there to protect you that's yeah. right well if it gets real bad i don't know we may run <laughs> but you can take the blindfold off and run yeah, if that you way like. you can see your way out. <laughs> and not just the museum, guys. Oh, the square. Gina, Who we Gina Walton. I want to sit in the green chair. Gina, get your tickets. Get your tickets. Go on my page. You'll see a night at the museum, Springfield, Tennessee, 65 bucks. You get this. This is the first time this place has ever been Im investigated. And you get free barbecue. So why yeah. not? You would spend that going out to dinner. So come do it with us. Let's and, have fun. Get your who, spooky on. Who can't cook barbecue in the South? So you know it's going to be good. Got and that right. Not just this museum, guys. We're going to walk around the square. This courthouse that I've been showing you guys, it is very active around the outside as well. No telling how many people were hung above the entrance door. I mean, the more I 
read into the history of this place, the more I find out how many more have been hung. And then there is Jail Alley, where the jail was down the road. And we're going to have a few trigger objects. I'm bringing some old Civil War handcuffs, shackles. And wonder how many people walked up that alley with those shackles on before they went to, to see the end yep. to be hung. Hey, Felicia, I see you're on here. If you want to drop the, the Eventbrite link into this uh, into this little feed, that would be great. So people can go back, hit that link, go straight to the ticket booth. I appreciate it, Felicia. Felicia's been a great help. She's going to be there Saturday night. Awesome. She's, she's, she's going to be uh, tearing it up with us, trying to get everybody in and around and have a great investigation. We're trying to keep this thing small uh, because we want it intimate. We This is the first time this place has been investigated, and we want you to have a great time, and we want you to be able to feel like you can investigate. This is your investigation. You're just hitting it up with us, the chili man here, me, and Brandon TWC. We're going to be there in full force. We're going to have all of our crazy stuff and uh, <laughs> see if we can not talk to the other side and get a little spooky going on. We're even going to do a little experiment with, uh, what's Joe's yeah. last name? I can't remember Joe's last Demir. name. Demir. Joe Demir. Joe Demir has come up with this new little technology. I think it's worth just checking out. It's just called the to, Ghost Pro. Yeah, and he has an app. Uh, we're going to try to get him to come out and uh, do a little demonstration in Ghost Alley. I think that's the perfect place. When I was walking around, it just, I, I, see, I had a vision when I walked by it. I was like, this is it. We can light this place up, mist it. And no telling what kind of images we're going to bring out. So yeah, you can go check out his stuff. It's it's he's got an app called the Ghost Pro VR, and I, you can get that. It's for uh, iOS. It's for uh, Android. So you just go to the app store and, and look it up, and then that way you can have it. You can take your own videos. You can do that kind of stuff. But hopefully Joe is going to be there, and he'll show you how this stuff works. I mean, there's there's some matrixing that you can do with this thing. But he's caught some stuff that even blows my mind. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. I think there's something to it. We just got to keep working with it. Joe's been working on this thing for years. And he's getting to the point that I think it's catching some stuff. So he's going to be up there with us. We'll take it in, what is it, Jail Alley? Jail Alley. Jail Alley. And see if we can't, you know, figure some stuff out. Try to find some answers that maybe isn't in the history books. Maybe it's not in you know, all the stories of the town. Maybe the other side can give us some more stories. Absolutely, and that way we could actually bring out things that the Historic Society doesn't even know about yet to give them something to research when we're done. I mean, that's all we have to, is history. Oh. Who we got? Krista, hi from Springfield, Tennessee. Hey, Miss Krista. Tell you all the haunting stories I've heard a lot and witnessed a lot. Hey. Hey, we can't wait to be there Saturday night. Yep. I'm from Springfield myself. That's why this one means a lot to me. It is R&R &R Live's grand opening event for the paranormal. We're going to do other things outside of paranormal events. We're even going to do promote concerts. Uh, this is just the beginning of a lot of good things. And come out, man, because everything we do is just going to be fun. If it ain't fun, we're not going to do it. That's it. And if you don't have fun with us when we're out there, something's wrong with you. We'll pray for you. I promise. <laughs> Yeah, that's of right. Course. That's right. And also, uh, Doug and I got a little history. Uh, <laughs> boy, do. do we have a little history. And we didn't even know it until we were on our way back from Savannah. I'm driving a bus, been up a long time, long no sleep. Time. I could tell Doug was like, is this guy going to fall asleep and kill all of us? <laughs> he was sitting up there nodding, talking, just trying to find things to talk about. And then I'll let him tell you, uh, it's pretty amazing. I know I had to pull over because it shook me up. Rattled me to the core like I've never been rattled. And I'm an adrenaline junkie. And that tore me up. And still tears me up. And guess what? We're right here right now. I'll let him tell you the story. Well, I start talking to him about, you know, where he lives, where I live. And uh, he's like, yeah. He said, my grandparents, you know, kind of lived out that way. I said, really? He's like, yeah. He said, Dove and Hugh. And I was like, wait a second. And like, it hit me like this. We've been up for a long time. And I'm like, all right, am I am I in a dream or something? <laughs> and I said, Dove and Hugh is in my concrete at home. And he looked at me, he said, really? And we got to talking. This was his grandparents' house. And I'd never met this guy a day in my life. I never Ever. knew a whole lot about the family at all. And I mean, this I've been here for a long time, 15, mm -hmm. 15 16 years. And, you know, it, it was just, it was crazy how, how, how that thing, I mean, our faces were just, 
We just like we seen a ghost. Yeah, it was <laughs> I mean, crazy. Literally. Telling the stories, and I told him about some of the stories that had happened here, some of the stuff that I've encountered here, and what he told me about his grandparents. It all makes sense. And I mean, it's it's nothing bad. It's just them saying, "Hey, I'm here," because I used to come here as a kid and pull weeds and stuff uh, for his grandmother. And it was so funny because I, I never, you know, I never knew that it would lead back, and me and him would be, you know, hanging out and doing stuff at this time. And even when we went to OSPH uh, last week, yep. when we rode together, uh, I believe Hugh came up in the yep. uh, spirit box. Sure did. That's my grandfather's name. And guess what? I'm at my grandparents' house now. Come here to visit Doug. It's, this is an awesome feeling. Yep. Yep. When he went to OSPH, that was the first time he had ever stepped foot in my house. He met me over here. And it was so funny when we got down to OSPH, we started getting the name Hugh coming through. And that was his granddad's name was Hugh. So I don't know. It's it's very strange how things happen, how how people meet. But I think this was something that was in the making for a long time. As soon as I bought this place. Yes, from the other side. I mean, it just proves what we do and the research we do. Hey, people do exist on the other side, and I I believe that. I feel that we. Uh, he even told me a couple of things about a car wreck, uh, just things that I knew about. There's no way he would have known no possible way and he's saying these things and then i i connect the dots with him but it was blowing my mind that he had got these names he had got these incidents uh it's it's amazing so my father split on me when i was young and i met my real grandparents in my 20s i spent a lot of time with them to make sure i got to know them and next year actually toward the end of this year i believe i'm gonna go knock on my dad's door which is jerry and he actually got that in an evp for my grandfather hollering it out maybe this is what this is about he's put us two together so i can go see my dad or put us two together to look after us so we can do what we enjoy to do yep and that's talk to the other side and get the answers that we may have never have gotten before just like how the answers had told me you know how the other side had told me answers that i had it gave me more questions until I met this guy right here. And then everything that I got through the other side made sense because he told me what it meant. And I'm telling you, if that don't tell you there's something else out here that's talking to us, I mean, I, I don't know any other way to tell you that there's something out here and it's intelligent and it can tell it can tell a story. Oh, yes. And it's telling a story through us right now. And oh, speaking of Jay, what's up, buddy? Jay's on just, there, huh? Yeah, I was just going to get to you, man. Some of the answers that I have got from from here in my house and down at OSPH is through Jay's IDC devices right here. Hit this guy up. I'm telling you, this is going to revolutionize the field of communication. Um, he's working on some really good stuff. So, guys, you know, if you want to get something cool and have something in your arsenal that works, this is it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it up close. I don't know if it's coming through backwards or not, but uh, you can, you can look him up. This would be his logo right there. Look him up. And I mean, I've even thrown out a link. I'll throw out some links tonight on my uh, Instagram and Facebook to Jay's stuff. I'm telling you, this guy, he's, he's rocking the field right now. Sorry, we're doing the tailgate thing. We're here. The here tailgate guys. party, folks. Picking it up, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, Jay, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate everything you do. And hopefully I will see you soon. Yeah, and by the way, at the event, we're going to be doing some raffles. Yes, sir. Uh, to help raise money for the Historic Society. I'm going to bring some memorabilia from working with different entertainers. People buy a raffle ticket. We'll pull them out. Uh, and people from the museum are bringing things. So, be some pretty cool things you can actually buy but yet that money will be going to help the historic society keep this museum going and to preserve the history of springfield yep. so and the people in this museum that run it danny stacy they're awesome people the whole historic society without them we couldn't do this so i want to thank you guys for letting us do this and this event guys is going to be i mean me as going to these different events from the Birdcage Lounge Theater in Phoenix, or Tucson, to OSPH as a guest. 
going to a place that's never been investigated to me takes it to another level. I mean, when I go in this place, when I got that EVP with Stacy on it, man, my heart, it just started pumping. I can't wait until the 15th at seven o'clock. I'll be trying to get you to chew your food fast because I want to get in this place and watch what everybody gets evidence-wise. Yeah. So, hey, every, everybody that's watching, as soon as this video is over, share it. Um, you know, we want to get these last few tickets sold, get you to this place. Um, like I said, 65 bucks for Saturday night, Springfield, Tennessee, the historic museum and the historic square. Uh, I mean, you get a free barbecue dinner with this and you get to get your spooky on. So I don't know what the hell you're waiting on. I mean, you should already be there right now. Just hanging out waiting. <laughs> That's right. You Actually, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, and the clock on the square will chime in, let you know when it's 7 to wake up so you can come in and get your spook on. That's it. And, hey, also, after this is over, tonight uh, we're going to be on a live podcast um, with the Lost Limbs Foundation. So me and two or three of the other guys are going to be on there. We're going to be talking to Mike Couch. So if you want to look up Mike Couch with the Lost Limbs Foundation, we're going to be hitting that, I think, at 9, 8 Central. Uh, so get on there. We can talk some spooky there. And uh, like I said, the info for this event, you can go to any of my pages. It should be on there. It's a night at the museum. It's through Eventbrite. And like I said, you don't want to miss this event. I mean, we're going to have some awesome people showing up here. We're going to do good things for the museum. And it's going to get this place out there. And you're going to be the first to investigate. The very first to be inside this place. So I don't know what you're waiting on. Like I said, get your barbecue, get your spooky on. That's a Saturday night. That's a hell's yes situation. And when we're breaking bread, folks, going over what we're going to do at the event, how we're going to break up into groups, we're also going to share with you future events that we already have on the books, and uh, we're going to set our little tour out. Yep. So you guys be there and join us with the good news and the other events so you can jump on board and get your tickets. You guys, come on, get on this train because we're going to have a good time. That's right, and I tell you what, I'm hoping I'm going to see you Saturday, me, Chili, That's right. Brandon TWC, Miss Felicia Hardcastle. We're all going to be there. We're going to have some fun. We're going to get our spooky on, and we're going to eat some barbecue while we're doing it. That's so right. you should be there. So thank you for tuning in, listening to our story. Like I said, get your tickets. There's a very few amount left. I'm talking right. what? I think it's like four five, maybe. Four or five left, so go get them. Let's do this thing. Let's have a Saturday night that's going to be epic. Uh-oh. What you got? I'm always getting something <laughs> coming in. Yeah, the Duke Pound. I see that. I see that. So you might want to. Uh, hold on just a second. Recheck that link, guys. Okay, I guess the, I guess the link in this isn't working. But go to my page. Go to my Facebook pages. They're all over the place. Uh, Felicia just posted it again. Uh, Eventbrite. So go hit that. Get your tickets. We'll see you Saturday night. Me. Doogie TWC, as you can see, TWC, and Mr. Greg Chillinator. It's R&R &R Live. Yep. Don't forget, grand opening event, and then we're going to explain to everybody what, we're, what we plan to do in the future and how we plan to help the Historic Society, the Lost Limbs Foundation, and hey, just have fun. Yes. Life's too short. Life is good. Just have fun while we're here. Yeah, no paradrama, nothing like that. Just come and let's have fun. Let's do what this field is meant to do. Get some answers and have fun doing it. So come join us. It's a whole different ball game. I'm telling you, we're bringing it. And you should be there. That's right. Yee yee. Yeah. All right. See you later. Peace out. Join me here in about a few hours. And we're going to be talking to the Lost Limbs Foundation. So you need to tune in. Find Mike Couch. We will be on his show tonight. I'll let you later, Wraith Nation.